Big Dre. Here for the little one. And it's Sugar Michaela. Yeah. And we back, y'all. So today's video is a little bit different from our normal, you know, content. We're stepping out of our our normal selves for a second just to address some things that really honestly need to be addressed because this is no longer like tit for tat this is no longer like nothing to laugh about like this is dead ass like so 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 serious and before y'all even get into anything my baby is my moral support person mm -hmm. so if y'all hear her jump in or something that's because she knows everything down to the t from from the top to the bottom, to from the bottom to the top, and she's just gonna be, you know, here to help me express this stuff because what I'm about to talk about is something that hits home for me, like something that hurt me down to my core, broke me down. I was the most miserable that I've ever been in my entire life. Like, and when I make sure you was still dealing with a lot of shit. Exactly, like I was <clears> going <throat> through hell and back when I met her, yep. and she seen me at that point. She seen me at my lowest point. She's brought me to my highest point. So. She knows everything, so if she speaks on something, it's because she can. Like, this is her story as well, because she went through it with me. Um, but without talking about all this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is not our typical content, um, but I do highly suggest watching this video and to knowing a little bit of how we got started anyways and where I've been and where I came from. So it's still like some background of me as well. So I do suggest watching. But if you don't want to sit and watch through this video, <clears throat> if you don't know what we're talking about, then you know we have our pranks and everything on our channel, so go watch those. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. I got pinpoints today, and I got screenshots to back up what I'm talking about. I'm telling y'all, when I say receipts, I have receipts from forever. Like, I don't, I don't delete that because that's, like, I knew, I knew that something was going to happen to where one day I was going to need it. So I'm here to finally tell my truth, speak everything. Like I used to just nitpick around the bush and say little stuff, but no, I'm done playing games. I'm done letting somebody that did me horribly just skate past through life like nothing ever happened. And like it's okay to joke and mock the shit that I do or the shit that I've been through because it's not okay. Like nothing about what I went through is okay. So I'm here to let you guys know. So. We're gonna start at the very, very beginning. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was in a relationship in the past um, for four years. And during those four years, we became social media influencers. We got onto YouTube and started doing YouTube and started taking off on that, started doing TikTok and everything like that. And mind you, like I said, um, okay, let me just keep going. And during these times, we were doing like our YouTube and everything like that. Um, over time, you try to come up with new ideas to make your content better or to get more views, get more followers, whatever the case may be. So at the time being, in this moment of time, me and Laura decided that we were going to bring somebody in to our content and create a storyline, okay? Now mind you, obviously when I say we decided to create this storyline, that offer goes to say that the videos are fake. Okay, now, when it first started, when we were faking all of our videos, Nirali knew that everything was a skit, knew it was a fake, and then she started not wanting to do it. So we did kind of play her a little bit, like, and I, I, I'm in the wrong for that because, like, I feel like that was very horrible of me because I was doing it out of the sake of money, like, to grow myself, but now that I'm looking back on it, it wasn't something good to toy with somebody else's emotions but we did like we did end up lying to her and say that me and Laura broke up which mind you we never broke up the entire time that I'm making videos and I'm sitting there crying on camera and doing all of that it was all for the views it was all for fake but mind you I still in my like deep inside knew that things were getting rough like I could feel you know when you have that gut feeling of stuff I could feel something wasn't right but I just wasn't sure because Laura would always reassure me and tell me all kind of different things. And, you know, so in your head, when you're with somebody for four years, you would never expect a person to just blindside you in that manner and just completely, like, go a different route. Am I making sense? 
Okay, so we're gonna talk about <clears throat> how we started doing videos and all the videos, like I just said, were fake, everything like that. And it started getting to the point where um, it just got it just got so crazy, y'all, with the videos that we were faking. Like, I genuinely think that <laughs> I genuinely think that Laura really thought that she had everybody wrapped around her finger. And the reason I'm saying that is because she obviously had to be playing <clears throat> the both of us in the same way. Like, she was telling me that. I'm all she wanted, da, 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 da. and behind closed doors, she was probably telling Harley the same thing. So like, it just it just blows my mind. But I have like screenshots and everything of Laura telling me like it's okay, we're gonna be good. Um, we're only doing this for money, everything like that. Like, cause I asked her, I I would ask her all the time, like, do you like her? Like, are you trying to leave or what's the case? And she would answer, no, bro, this is for money. You're my fucking wife. Stop talking stupid. Um, and I'm waiting for you to have my kid. Where's the doctor's appointment? Okay. So that's going to be right here for proof. Like, I'm not just reading from my ass crack. That's going to be up there for proof. Um, like, obviously, I'm, there was no need for me to just... If I felt like they was going to date and do all of that, I would have never kept doing videos like no if somebody's way. in my phone reassuring me and telling me no this is i'm just using her da, 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 constantly 24 7 why would i think anything less you know what i mean like at the end of the day i was the one that was in a relationship for that long time i started the youtube channel with her like we started from the bottom y'all when i say the bottom stayed with her through all her, her shit. shit like <laughs> when i say from the bottom you guys like i mean that like i'm telling y'all we had nothing to our name we could have sat with five dollars at one point and to say that we came up together you would never just look at that person and be like damn they about to fuck me you yeah. get what i'm saying so i never even thought twice I, my trust was just my trust like if you ask dre i've never been non-trusting of her i've always just been loyal and trusting and i believe in her and everything like until you show me otherwise i'm not gonna doubt you so i didn't ever i didn't ever doubt her for nothing okay so boom um we're gonna go on to her talking shit about Narali to me because again, I would ask her constantly, like, what's going on? Like, is there something really going on? Because the way Narali would act was like she was just like locked in. You get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get into something in a second as well. But this was probably around like um June-ish, June-ish times, May times, like in that area. And we was having a conversation. I don't remember, obviously, because it's so long ago. But I asked her a question, and this is Laura's response. It's going to be here as well. She's nowhere near my type. She's annoying. She talks too much. She bothers me 25-8. She thinks she knows everything. She has no personality. She doesn't know when to stop. She's ugly with no lashes and makeup. She probably has a body count of 50 or more. She isn't gay, but she says she is. She argues all day and gives me headaches. Um, main of all, she can never be you. That's what was said. Okay, now I'm not here. Like, obviously, they in there, they're in there one too. But what y'all are gonna really need to learn to stop doing is stop trying to act like you're above me or you're better than me or you can look down on me in any type of way. Like when this is how your partner was talking about you when y'all first met. You know what I mean? Like I just feel like that's that's ridiculous. Okay, <clears throat> and a lot of people always bring up, well, Michaela, you knew that they were pregnant. In this time, nobody was pregnant, y'all. During those videos, nobody was fucking pregnant. And if y'all do the math now... It's easy as fuck to do the math. It's, it's obvious to understand. The baby was born the 10th month of the year. And that just, shit was the year before. What does that tell like, you? And just think about it, bro. Nobody was pregnant. Uh -huh. Nobody at all was pregnant, okay? Now, after all of that, you know, I started getting very uncomfortable with the situation. I became well over the situation and I was just kind of like just fed up and kind of done with it okay so I decided that I'm I'm leaving so I I told Laura like if this is what you're gonna continue to do if you're just gonna because my job this went on for months when I say months I mean months like this is the time frame of y'all watching me go from like a normal weight to my skinniest weighing like 90 pounds and it was just so much to be going through like all the time and 
stressing about are you really messing with this girl are you not and just doing different shit running around the city because everywhere you would go like to film with her you would make me follow and sit in the car and make sure I was there I didn't care to be there but you wanted me to be there so bad because of your anxiety and nobody else could make you comfortable and it's that and the third so I was always there like Nirali put two and two together why every time y'all are somewhere I was there if y'all were so together like I, I just so happen to be in San Antonio at the same time as y'all come on now like you just gotta you just gotta make it make sense if we're being real Okay, so, um, another thing, what was I just talking about, babe? I kind of lost my train of thought. You was pulling up everywhere. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, I was pulling up everywhere and all of that stuff, um, and this is comes down to the day that I was getting my car, y'all. So, I went to go buy myself a car on July 26th for my birthday because I finally wanted to get my car and, you know, my dream Mercedes, I wanted it so bad, and... It was my time to get my car, okay? So I'm at the dealership and I'm just chilling. I'm doing all my paperwork, one, two, three, and boom, I buy my car, okay? So as I'm sitting there, I'm sitting in the car at this point with Maya and two other friends that y'all don't know, and we're and we're having a great time. Like I'm I'm embracing the fact that I just bought my car. Like this was my first car, like that I a nice car, anyways. Like, you know, my dream car. So I'm sitting there with my friends celebrating because you and Norelli are filming somewhere, so why why do I care? I'm celebrating with the people that obviously want to be around me, right? So, boom, I'm celebrating, and she goes to start blowing my phone up, talking about bring her the other car, and this, that, and the third, right? So, I'm telling, I'm telling her, okay, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm just with my friends right now. Y'all, when I tell y'all, let me just tell y'all. Let me just tell y'all. Um... Let me find the exact one so I can read it exactly. Um, she said, so are you going to bring me my social? Oh, because her social and everything was in my car. I don't know why, but it was in my car, in my stuff. Like, Because I would carry all of our stuff. So she said, are you going to bring me my social? She said, LOL, say less. You played your card right, and I'm going to handle everything. Mind you, this is all in like two minutes of like her texting all of that. And then I said, Laura, I'm going to bring it to you. This is going to be here for y'all too. And she said, bitch, I need it right now. I'm taking all the money out, and I did you a favor, but you want to play, so play. Okay? So, that's the moment where I realized she took all my money out of my account. Okay? She literally, like, left me, I think it was like $200. 200 fucking dollars. Okay? Okay? Damn, now. Hold on, you said y'all had nothing together. We had nothing together. Like everything y'all got. Everything was we got. And y'all. I I will mark my like on um, to Jesus like the amount that was in our bank account was over a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, it was like not just way over, but it was like right over a hundred thousand dollars. Um, and what gets me is you. How do I put this? You come from the mud from with somebody. You would never expect them to just hit you like that. Like. For everything that I worked hard for, I'm sitting on videos, I'm crying every single day because I'm feeling like my relationship is just about to go down the hill. And mind y'all, at the time, like, obviously I cared about this girl. We was in a relationship for years. How do you not care about somebody, you know what I mean? But for you to just act like I'm just nothing, like, and just take everything from me, just snatch it from under my feet, like, really... Less than nothing. She ain't, you need to make sure you ain't have nothing. And that's the crazy part, y'all. Like, the apartment was in both of our names, so, Norelli, if you thought that you was just, I don't know what you thought, um, everything, like, everything was in both of our names, like, everything, from the YouTube channel to everything, so, she ends up taking everything from me, y'all, and that hit a spot for me, because, mind you, this is three days, 26, 27, 27 two days before my birthday, okay, so, I'm like, wow, like, you know what I mean, so, I checked the bank account, everything's gone, and I said, can you please put my money back? And I'm going to pull up right now. Because at this point, I'm about to leave my friends. Because now you're playing with my money. Like, okay, if you're really this upset about this little social security card that you could have in a second, then I will bring it to you. Like, you know, like, that's my money. This is, like, it's it was it was crazy, y'all. Like, it was such a weird scenario. The manipulation is crazy. Because we know at the end of the day, 
Somebody say something about a social security guard compared to a hundred grand. Mm hmm Now you just trying to find a way to you fuck with you. That's what I'm saying. Like you really said that. So remember that. Out of all things. finding a way to fuck with you. Mm hmm So boom. She took all my money, mind you, okay? So after the fact of all of this going on, I get my mom involved because at this point, like, I don't have my money. I need my money. I get my mom involved. Um, we pull up. Again, she lies to the internet and she says that I go inside her house, which it was our apartment. I go inside our apartment and throw everything, destroy the house and jump her. How do I jump you? It takes more people to jump. Damn, you was little than, you was like little at that time too, huh? Yes, babe, I was 90 pounds, like literally 90 skin and bones, bones popping out of my fucking shoulders and shit. Yo. Like, before I jumped you, little old me jumped you. But what did happen though is when my mom came, because I brought my mom, and my sister was there as well, we were outside and my sister beat her ass. And that's just that. I told y'all that already. Like, she got her ass beat because you was calling my mom a bitch. She was calling me a bitch. She was calling all of us out of our name. You was talking about, I have the voice recording still to this day of her talking about something. That's why you ain't never going to get your money. Da, 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 da. Like, stop playing. Like, that was nothing to play about. And so, yeah, my sister beat her up. Then she proceeds to fake a video and say, I scratched her up and da, 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 and la, 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 la. Okay, whatever. I don't even care. Damn, who scratched her? Crystal. <laughs> Crystal be her ass. But did Crystal really scratch her though? No, that's what I'm saying. Crystal. So, so is a potential that she probably could've she she could have did, did it herself. herself. Y'all, she literally grabbed yeah. plates and threw them in her own house. Broke them. The whole video is. And I was watching the video like, God damn, I did that. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like you know, and it's just like ridiculous because she went that far. Yeah, because the video that I heard and stuff. Y'all were outside. We was outside the whole time. Y'all was outside. Outside the entire time. From wow. The, from the moment I walked up out of my car and when I was voice recording everything, we was outside the entire time. And mind you, if I wanted to go into that house and do whatever I wanted to do, I could do that. If I would have called the cops that day, they would have told her to leave. And I could have went inside the house, did whatever the fuck I wanted to do, and we would have had to figure it out. I would. I never had to leave that apartment. I never had to walk away from everything. I never had to give her the YouTube channel. I never had to do any of that. I was doing it off the strength of you do you. You just not want to be around. Or none yeah, of like I was just much. over it. I just wanted my money so I could start fresh. Like if I would have had my money, I could have went straight and got me another apartment and just been cool. Just been doing me and da da da. But no, she made me have another bump in my road another hiccup more stress like it was y'all i literally had two hundred dollars two hundred dollars like be for real right now no, two hundred dollars if i would have went and slept in a hotel or something it would have been gone it would have been gone that that's quick crazy. like you get what i'm saying so like I, I felt like i was just betrayed and i felt like kicked on and bullied at that moment because like you just let me you just left me in a drought for real like I would never, even to this day, if it, it could be my worst enemy, and if I knew that they needed something from, like, I'm, I'm gonna put my hand out to it, like, and for you to claim, like, at this time you were so godly and so this and so that, that's not how you do people. Yeah. But from my understandings of everything, shortly after she took all my money, y'all, she went and she used my money to have a baby, and that's just, that's just how I feel, and. Back door, you used my money to go and have you a baby, knowing, hold on, real quick, knowing that I desire to be a mother, like, to to the tippity tops of everything. I That's my that's my number one goal in life, to give my kids everything that I could not have. That's my number one goal. So, boom, you back door, use my money, go have a baby, and then you throw it, like, like as a weapon towards me like as if it's gonna hurt me because you know that about me like and I feel like that's the That's the lowest thing that somebody could do when obviously You see like you know what I mean? That's making sense like yeah, she do more talking about the kid than Being a parent to it. That's what I'm saying it. like for the same like it, me anyway It just it just blows it is uh, it just blows my mind because I feel like that's the lowest thing that somebody could do like that's what you went and used my money for. 
and then backdoor you want to use it against me like that's just that's just double Weird. yeah like that's not even that's but who in their right mind uses a baby like against somebody yeah and it's not even like y'all kid it's like yeah move on do what you have to do exactly in your life exactly. you got everything you want right exactly and mind y'all at this point at this point after she took my money Oh, oh, okay, so I don't miss this. She claims, y'all, that I hit up her family and I've asked them for money and everything. Y'all, mind you, you just took my money. And the only time that I've mentioned anything was I called your mother and I said, Lord took all my money, can you please talk to her and tell her, can I have my half? And then her mom sat there and told me, no, she didn't take your money um you threatened me and my family and this this that so no don't call me da, 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 da. boom that's it you don't believe me then that's that but that's that blew my mind too because if anybody was there for you it was me i was there for you more than your own daughter was your daughter would ask you for stuff you would ask your daughter for stuff and your daughter would never give it to you and i was always backdoor being the bigger person about every little thing like and got done wrong by the people that smiled in my face for years Y'all when I say years, years. So you mean to tell me three days after everything's ended and I'm telling you that this girl stole my money, you're not gonna believe me? Like that 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 blew me. Like that was that was over the top. And then mind you, her grandma, uh, well really it's not even her grandma, but her grandma hits me up still to this day. Now on she, Jesus. She hit her up since I've been around. She be blowing her up. On Jesus, since everything happened, her grandma still hits me up. Her brothers done reached out to me on Snapchat. Like, even if they did check on me, or even if I did see something, if I wanted to check on somebody, they're humans. I could check on them if I wanted to, but I've never reached out to none of them. Like, they all reached out first, and the only... I've responded. I've responded to two of her brothers before, and that's only because... As y'all know, me and Allie had a different relationship. So I responded to him once. And after that response, I never responded to him again. Because this, and this was before me and her got together that I responded to him. But after that, like, I just realized, like, if I respond to them and keep in, that's going to drag me with them more and still have that bond with them. And I didn't want to have that. Like, like, just leave it up to her to manipulate to, it and cause say she did. it something else that is... Cause she did. She did all of that. Y'all, everything under the sun that somebody could possibly say about you. She didn't say it. She didn't say it about me. Like, what can you say? What else can you do to hurt me anymore? Like, there's no way in the position that I'm in in my life right now, happy as I am, that anything that you say would break me down again. Like, you had, you had that pleasure of doing that to me. You had that of breaking me down and making me mentally unstable. Like, for real, you caused me anxiety. You caused me, like, trauma. Like, who knows? Like, if it wasn't for Dre, I might not even be in a relationship where I could just be me and be happy. And, like, I could be scared of people. Like, I could have trust problems right now. Like, everything that you did, you broke me down to the to my, my tiniest, my littlest self. And I have to rebuild myself again. So nothing you say will ever come, like, and hurt me, will ever come against us or anything. Like, that's... That's the the crazy part. And let's get this overstood because people, retarded people, mm -hmm. like to say stuff like, if you're really happy, then why bring this up? Mm -hmm. Come on now, bro. Yeah. We really like be living our life. As y'all see, we travel, we experience life, got engaged, like do, do a lot of stuff. We're enjoying each other. We are truly happy. And I have never even been in a situation that, I got to deal with somebody ex mm -hmm. and their manipulative bullshit. Mm -hmm. And to the point where y'all doing shit to fuck with me. That shit is weird, bro. It's really weird. Like, yes, like, you have to realize that, oh, you know, if you're going to do this, you got to have a certain type of skin. Yo, you can have that type of skin. You're not worried about nothing else. But there's only so much you can take when it come from somebody evil and that, that, that fucked over you in the past, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you just not going to let that shit keep sliding, bro. You got to look at it like if somebody, if somebody just felt like, but I, I'm using like these examples, but really I'm the example. Like yeah. we came out the mud, mm -hmm. 
We did everything together. We came up. We made all this money. You took it from me. Then you sit on your high horse and you sit on your throne and you try to talk down at me. And you try to say disrespectful things or throw a little shade or do this and that. And you think I'm just going to sit here and take it every single time. No, who are you for me to just let you try to belittle me or try to act like you're somebody that you're not? Like, I know the real you. I know where you come from. I know who you are. I know where you was fucking raised as a little child. Like, you're not going to sit there and try to just overlook me. And that's just, just what I'm not going to settle for. It feels like bullying. It feels like harassment. Like, no, it's... I, I it's, think it is harassment. It's not right. Like it's no it's for you. it's not right at all. So I'm going to talk about whatever I feel like I need to talk about because no, that is like unacceptable. Like for so long I didn't sat back and I watched the way that they treat their supporters and they treat their followers and I'm just like, wow, like this is a totally different person. Like this is not the person and that don't, I Don't get the word watch confused, bro. People come and say to stuff. us Telling us like, yo, I can't believe they did. They didn't did this. They didn't did that. They called us this. Like, and then if you happen to pop up on the for you page, that's just normal shit. But like, because obviously we pop up on yours too. Like I be peeping, like, and so, and then when people would come to me and say that y'all are scamming them, and then I'm like, whoa, like, who is this person? Like, it it just it blows my mind. Like that that be was crazy because now you're somebody that you never you never portrayed yourself to be like this. You always wanted to be godly and help people and do this. Now you're stealing from people and you're taking from people and you're lying and shit, that was news to you're me. Throwing, <laughs> you're she throwing you're throwing help people? Yes. Who? Like she wanted like her goals was my goals. Like everything that I've wanted in life, like to build homeless shelters and do things like like that's what she wanted to do in life. I ain't never heard of her doing nothing for nobody. The Besides taking. And, and flexing her vehicles. Yeah. Like, and that's what I be saying. Like, that's crazy. It's, it's mind blowing. And it's just the simple fact that like. <clears throat> that's crazy, bro. This is what you chose to do. For real. But, yeah. Okay. We're going to get into the next. All of that was really before. Yeah. I it was before she came in, y'all. Like. We're just getting started. Yeah. This is actually kind of crazy that it was that long of me talking about that. Because. That, that shit just hits home for me. Like, that shit hurts. And if you was ever to go through it, shit, if I lost the money that I had in my bank account right now, I'm going to be fucking sad. If I lost two pennies, like, come on now. That shit's crazy. Okay, where should I start? Where should we start the next? Um, I will say when when I first came around, it wasn't, it wasn't too much. Maybe because she didn't think that we was really fucking with each other. You know Type shit. Uh... Okay. Okay. Okay, so um at this time I met Dre and Dre's my bestie and my boo thing and my love and my everything. And um she started she watched me like go through like I was trying to figure out where I was gonna make my money from and do all of this and she was watching me just in my complete grind mode trying to figure life out again and she was my backbone, she was my support, she was there when I needed her, she was my shoulder to cry on and everything. And I told her about every little thing that I went through just because I feel like if I didn't tell her like she wouldn't have understood why like I was the way I was. Now, um, shortly after we actually like got together, um, it was probably like two months. Yeah. Shortly after we was actually like very way more serious like we was really we was really locked in um laura decides to republic all of our old videos um with that you know. with me and them on our old on our youtube and to me it was giving like weird like everything you do is weird like why are you so weird like because y'all already at this point was talking about Y'all pregnant, da 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 da. Yeah, and, and then you republic shit. And I think this was. This probably was right at the door of the explorer shit. Mm -hmm. And to like put all your video back, I think it was like a form of. Kind of like, bitch, I got something on you. Bitch, mm -hmm. ha ha. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still gonna make some money off of you. Oh, and mind you, y'all, I called her that day and I asked her to take the videos down. She said, no, I'm making my money. 
Like, that's yeah. what she said. Literally to me. And I wish I would have recorded and, and it. And left on the I, fucking phone. I literally called to have weird. a very civil conversation to be like, hey, like, I feel uncomfortable with you. Because me and her just got into our relationship for real. Mm -hmm. So then I didn't want that's her to look was, at bro. I didn't want her to look at me and be like, mm-mm, like, you know, that's weird. Like, you might still be involved or something like that. I didn't want her to think nothing less of me. So I called and I'm like, hey, like, can you please, like, Take these videos down. It's making me very uncomfortable. My girlfriend does not like it. Da 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 da. And no, like she literally like made it a laughing statement. And yeah, don't even think it wasn't just you made that shit sound so like it wasn't even like no. Oh, I didn't like it. It was just a form of disrespect. That's what I'm saying. Like it was like you can tell the way her intentions behind it was complete disrespect. And it was like okay, so let's go straight to the bull mm -hmm. and call her bullshit. Like. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the point? Right. Like, I moved on. You done moved on. Why you want to do this doing that? now? Mm -hmm. Right now, you want to do this. And they had all this other stuff going on, so I don't know why that was even, like, a, like that's weird. Like, if y'all think that that's not weird, that's weird as fuck. And that's just, ugh, that's just that. Okay, so that's what happened with that. And now, shortly after that, I'm not even going to get into that. Okay, you bring up, the, you, you point out the next one. Mm. Shit, we can text on that. Oh. Damn, now hold on, that's too far down. I'm trying to figure out what didn't happen in between mm -hmm. that. This. Oh, yeah, y'all. So, look, we got a dog in yeah. February mm -hmm. last year. And. He named him Prince. As y'all know, our Princey Boo. Right. So, around the time that we got a dog, is let's let's just think of this timeline correctly. Is around the time that they probably actually just got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because this is February. Mm -hmm. Had their baby the tenth month. What's that? October. Mm -hmm. His name is Prince. Just put two and two together. <laughs> yeah. Just put two and two together. And mind y'all, um, I don't remember exactly what video it is, obviously, and I'm really not gonna go look for it because that's a lot. Oh, bad. But I think me and Dre were doing a QA one day and we mentioned what we were gonna name our son when we had a baby. And now for some reason, like somebody has our son's name and that's fine, like, but that's weird. Don't say no. Look, think about <laughs> it. It's the same person saying she would name all her other kids Laura Jr. And now, and just you have one. one with this name. <laughs> make it make sense, bro. Y'all, it, it, oh my god. Like, if y'all really just don't sit back and look, like, mind you, y'all was together forever. Mm -hmm. I've been having the names for all my kids. Mm -hmm. You've been having the names for your kids. Mm -hmm. Did she ever say that? Mm -mm. Oh wow! It was always Laura Junior. Laura Junior. It was the same. <laughs> it was the same. And I used to be like, uh, no. Like, what the fuck is? Let me stop. Okay, let me stop. Yeah. Hey, so y'all, if y'all do not see that the subliminal messages are out there, bro. Yeah. They do little shit. Like I say, we sit back and we mind our. Business, and obviously, y'all. Obviously, yeah. we know exactly what we say. So then we backdoor and we see like some sort of like kind of response, like subliminal response. We peep it, like so. Bro, we be like, "Why these bitches are weird?" We know. And then like if we say something about it, it's always like y'all are y'all are bringing them up. Nah, and, nah, nah, nah. Like, no, come on, bro. They, like y'all all know. Y'all all know, bro. Y'all may do something. Y'all do something. Y'all go to school. Mm -hmm. And y'all wear y'all shit a certain way. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, this big show will be doing the same shit you done did. Right. You know it! You, you know. know it, bro! You know that. Like, you know it. But then, you know, you don't say nothing because you realize that, okay, you motivating this bitch. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'm going to keep motivating you. Yeah. Because everything I do, you want to do. But mm -hmm. I'm going to do it better. Mm -hmm. All right. And, oh, oh, well, I got something to say. And I already know that somebody's going to say after this, like, um, if y'all gotta use our names for this, that, and the third, and da 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 bitch, stop saying that. Because at the end of the day, what you had because of me, I 
took it and I ran with it and I'm now thriving above you a million times. Like that. it's like we're not even in the Man. same bracket no more. You do that shit, I'm an influencer for real in real life. Like <clears throat> I'd be around all these celebrities, I'd be around people that you would dream and Man. wish and pray you could be around. I can't be around, bro. You can't. So don't ever say that I need this or I need the money. I'm just sick and tired of sitting back and letting you bitches think that y'all are doing something like no so i just had to throw that and, in there real and quick. clearing up our name on a lot of shit bro yeah like, i'm tired of people saying dumb stuff like bro just take the time watch the video and you're gonna learn everything you need to learn and know why the fuck i feel like and I why we move the way we move about something like shit. i can say what i want to say and i can do what i want to fucking do like you still haven't ran me my money and so i'm gonna i'll talk about whatever i want to talk about if you give me my money i'll shut up how about that sounds good to me how about that like, come on now. Stop playing with me. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. Continuing on. Okay, so, uh... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Damn, that. Okay, so we we around this, right? Cause, yeah. Because after that... After I, that... I, I feel like... I mean, they had their shit going on. We had our shit going on. For uh, the longest, Yeah. nobody was mentioning them yeah. to us or probably us to them. Yeah. So, it was good. I didn't ever see I it. felt like, okay, I could see what life is going to be out without... People mentioning the Yeah, I didn't ever see it no more. Like, even it used to be crazy on my lives and stuff, and then it stopped. It like, stopped on mine too. Yeah, on mine too. For it a stopped. while, bro. Mm -hmm. For a while. Mm -hmm. And then they pop up on my For You page out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, pregnant. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, you could tell, they like, Like, oh, okay. You know, like, so, I mean, everybody knows ideas take a long time mm -hmm. to really get started. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, okay. Congrats to y'all. Nobody's mm -hmm. still mentioning y'all to us. Mm -hmm. We don't give a fuck about y'all. Congrats. Yeah, live it's, on. It's, we got bigger things in store. Mm -hmm. Then, we get engaged. Oh, yeah, my baby. My baby got we get engaged for me at the Kehlani concert. At the Kehlani concert. And, you know what I'm saying? Still the happiest day of my life. Yeah, that was a that was an amazing day. It was, that was really crazy. Nice. And y'all gotta realize I'm not even the type of person to talk in front of people like that, bro. So it was really nice. That was crazy. Oh, uh, and then you know I guess. <laughs> <laughs> y'all okay. Let me just cut in because after we got engaged, um, we started calling each other wives. Like I would be like, "This is my wife," and we're gonna tell me something about it. Cause the fuck, like I'm flexing, like the fuck. My baby just proposed to me in front of Kehlani, so this is my wife. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? And, um, little do you know, back door, we see stuff and people send us videos of Laura calling Narali her wife and calling her all of this and them calling each other that. And it's just like, it's not a coinkity. Like, y'all weren't doing that until we started doing that. Like, like, bro, that wasn't even y'all's storyline. <laughs> you were, you had 40 bitches pregnant. How the fuck do you have a wife? Are you wiping them all? Or just like, like, it came out of nowhere, bro. And it felt like, yet again, like, let us have our moment. Mm -hmm. Let us have our moment. You got what you want, bro. Why are you worried about what the fuck we got going on? I agree with that a lot. Like, I, I stand on that because... You you got all the cars, you got all the money, you got people cleaning your house, and you got a son, and all of this and that. And all the juries. And all the juries and all the designer clothes that you want. So why the fuck are you worried about what little old me and little old her have? That's what that's what you look at us as. Like, yeah. we just living over here, chill, 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 but you're steadily bopping. Like, that. you wanted to say nobody had no motion and nobody did, like, you be bopping. And then you do the same shit over and over again. Like, when's this skit that you got going on gonna be over? Like, I don't like to say, but y'all ain't never seen us do none of the dumb shit they done did. Y'all, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it a buck with you real quick. Before you even go through IVF, you have to go through a counseling to be able to have a baby like with that person and make sure y'all are ready and make sure whoever y'all are using or whatever is okay. And da 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 da. da. There's no fucking way that somebody at the counseling place is gonna say, yeah, you can have this many kids and that many kids and that many kids and that many kids. No, it's not happening. You can't have all of them babies with all these different people. Yeah, like, nah. wake up, y'all. Be a little bit smart. Like, I know y'all aren't dumb. And they don't even really, never mind. What, go. Like, they really don't even like to do twins. Twins, like that. at all. Like, 
I, like, I, don't I even guess money can buy anything, but they don't even, just off of their own medical and health standpoints and that shit falling back on them, mm -hmm. it's not really a smart thing It's not to a do. smart thing at all. And they'll tell you that. If you yeah. call a doctor's office... They're, they're like, yeah, I mean, shit. We, I mean, we'll do it, but like, it's something they don't even really want to. And they don't recommend it. Like, no. But now, I suppose we got... You gotta see some college quadruplets come yeah, in. I ain't, yeah, that's crazy. Maybe I'm maybe. not saying twins are impossible. I'm not even saying that. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know what the fuck they got going. I really do not. I mean, care. yeah, we don't know them. For I really like, don't care. I'm not sitting up here saying that they're lying about what the fuck they. I'm saying that the quadruplets is a fucking stretch. Mm -hmm. Bad. Mm -hmm. I agree. Bad. I agree. Um. Okay. Okay. Boom. So now, since we're talking about the whole bopping thing. We're gonna go to what's been going on like now, like very recent. No, hold on, we not even getting that shit yet. Okay, I'm gonna be real. You know, look, they did some shit. Did I'm not gonna lie. It it had Twitter looking. That's where it had TikTok going. What the fuck? So everybody is making videos talking shit about them. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everybody. Okay, mind you, I myself. I said this is the dumbest shit I ever fucking seen in life. Mm -hmm. And I have a right to an opinion because if you put your shit out there, yeah, you give the world the right to have an opinion on whatever the dumb shit you do. Yeah. So maybe everybody made videos about that shit, mm -hmm. but y'all worried about this. Right. Like everybody. Everybody. That shit's dumb. So, I mean, hey, but to each his own, do whatever makes you happy. So, I'm not even going to sit up here and act like, yeah, I, and I still to this day will talk shit about that shit. I will talk shit about that shit to your face. Mm -hmm. I wish I get the chance to see it. Because that's crazy. Yeah, I agree. And and to think that what you're doing, obviously what you're doing is you be lying and doing all of this. So, you can have more views. So, you could, you know, do whatever you want to do. But you can't get mad at the For You page. Because if you pop up. We could laugh, we could joke at you, we could, like, what and are you talking all about? all the videos of everybody else making videos about that shit, drawing the shit on their own face, <laughs> laughing at that shit. But y'all worried about what we got to say. So bad. Real bad. Why don't y'all address the people that's really, like, talking shit for real and really fucking with y'all? Like, y'all be worried about little old us again. For what reason? Like, I would be kind of uncomfortable in this situation. Like, if Laura was my spouse at that point. Um, I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with them? Or whoever it is, if it's vice versa, if it's Norali, why are you so obsessed with them? Like, what do we, what do we have that y'all want? The love? Each other. The genuineness? The happiness? Like, what is it? Is it her? Y'all want her? Cause y'all can't have her. I think it's the eyes. It gotta be. It gotta be, cause they had a little obsession, like a little, you know, obsession mm -hmm. on that shit. Yeah, they did. They talked about that quite a lot, baby. Mm. I mean, I fell in love with your eyes. Mm. So it only makes sense, but it's just kind of giving weird to me. Like, it's kind of getting, like, tired, like, worn out a little bit. And it's just like, mmm, do better. You know, like, just find somebody else to, like, obsess over. Like, if you want to, like, you know, be like that with somebody, maybe go find, like, a celebrity or something. Like, mind you, I don't mind... I don't mind the views, like, I don't mind you guys watching, like, but just sit back and relax and just enjoy the show, like, you don't gotta do too much. Just be like everybody else, cause... And, and y'all think we're playing about this obsessed, like, obsessed shit? Let me, let me run down some facts for you. Mm hmm We got the truck in December. Okay. Okay. We did? December. Yeah. yeah, I think it was December. Oh, wow. We had it for a little while. Yeah, I didn't December. I was about to say a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Type shit. Right? <laughs> That's what it feel like. Hey, two, three days after I got the truck, y'all go look for yourselves. Y'all, let me tell y'all something real go quick. Go look for yourself. Real quick. Real quick. Let me say something. Y'all, mind you, when we do something, we it, it kind of takes us like maybe like one or two days to actually post what we actually did. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, like she was just saying, we went and got the truck for my baby, and two to three days after, back door, who do you think went and got a truck? Pictures of them in, a, in front of a car lot. Like, a cash lot. But, yeah. Like, some may say coincidence, I say, bitch, you're weird. 
I, I'm calling another weird card. It's, like, and it's not. Like, it's obvious, bro. No, but y'all, and then, ugh, this just makes me want to fucking throw up. Like, I can't believe I dealt with this bitch for so long. <sighs> My thing is, we genuinely just take y'all with us through our lives, show y'all our lives, and live our lives with y'all. But the way that they try to portray shit is they try to flex it. Everything. Like, I Everything. could walk around my house and I could do exactly what they do. I have the exact same shit that they have. Like, you're, what you're doing is not it. But the way that they try to do it is, like, every time we post something, like, we posted the truck, but we posted, like, the process of her vlogging and getting her truck. But they post, like, yeah, we just got a truck and this, 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 and BM got a new truck. Like, Man. That's how they portray it. They don't portray like, y'all come along with us while we get this. No, they just back the door and try to flash it. Y'all, like, we real life just be like living life and you know, doing what YouTubers we do. Do they in just general. show you things in our lives and take y'all with us to get to experience the moments mm -hmm. with us? Mm -hmm. Because I mean, shit, y'all family, yeah. and y'all be wanting to be happy for us the same way. So like, you know. Mm -hmm. It just blows my mind to see like, and that don't even be like the first time, bro. It, it's not the first fucking time, y'all. When I say any, just just start watching. Just we start watching. The dog they shit, might stop the now. Shit, the truck shit. We ain't even got to the very recent shit. They might stop now because we're calling them out and they don't want y'all to do nothing. But go go back and just just think about everything that y'all done seen happen or. Like, we're literally giving y'all, like, kind of like a timeline of shit. Like, of how shit goes with them. And we don't just be bringing these weird Humpty Dumpty bitches up for nothing. Like, it just be simply to make y'all understand, like, we don't be just dragging shit. I'm not hopping on live just to talk about them, just to talk about them. If I wanted to talk about them and get views, I would have did that a long fucking time a ago. A long ass time ago. It wouldn't be now. It would not it be, wouldn't now. be now. Like, I wish this shit was left in the... In the past, bro. Like, I wish none of this shit even really had to happen, bro. You really could just broke off even, could have did what you was gonna do. And, and went separate and, and, fucking and, ways. And, and it would have been smooth, bro. And the only reason why I even still, still really honestly and sit down and actually talk about shit is because at the end of the day, people think so highly, like some, some people think so highly of them, and that's not what they are. Like, I hate an evil ass bitch. I hate evilness. Like, it's just, it's just like the walking devil, and I don't like that for people. And so now, like, I'm like, okay, well, I can speak on whatever I want to speak on. But if you want me to shut up, like I said, run me my money or shut the fuck up. And you're so rich and you so this and you so that, but my little low money is hurting your feelings. Like, it, I just don't, I just don't get it. But if you, my whole thing is like, just if being you, a human. If you got everything you want, what's the problem? You got everything you want, bro. Yeah, like, what's the problem in real life? What's the problem? And I'm not even gonna lie. I don't got what I want, because what I want is to beat her ass. Yeah. Off rip. Off the strength. Like, and, and that's just off of, from when I came, like, y'all did little shit fucking with me, boo, boo, boo. But, like, you don't do nobody like that, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a bitch take everything from me, and I left. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, everything else, like, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want no parts of it. But it's like, you was like a little roach. You was like, just steady a fucking problem, bro. Yeah. Just, just here, and then when you turn the lights on, the motherfucker run out the sink and shit, and, and play victim and every then, time. And bro. like when a motherfucker stomp on you, you like, God damn, why you stomp on me? Cause you a fucking little cockroach. Like, why are you like? I don't get it. Honestly, like earlier, like I held back, like trying to cry about it because it's something that still like, it's it's something that tore me down. And now when I look back on that shit, like how I was looking, bro. Like, I look like I did drugs. That's real life how I look. Like, my bones would pop out of my shit. Like, I mean, but anybody in that situation to lose everything at once like that would have damn near been in the same place you've been in, bro. And I just think it's, it's just beyond me because the whole time, like, I was stressing about different shit, I was still trying to provide for the person I cared about. And the fact that it was just, it's just not that. It just, it just, it just confusing. Like I would never in my entire, my entire life, do that to somebody. Just, I just hope that everybody that's watching this video just realizes like, treat people really how you want to be treated. Like for real, because when, when karma comes around, it's not going to just be the karma for me anymore. 
you done scam people, you done mm -hmm. cheated people out of stuff, you done lied, you know, the, the karma is gonna people come around for everybody. Don't that type of shit either. And the weight that it holds, like on people, that the way you treat people, it, it's just it's just ridiculous, y'all. And I just want everybody to know, like, be your best self. Like, you never know what the fuck the next person could be going through or when the next person is ready to end it all or whatever the case may be. Like, by the strength of God, I was pushing through. Like, everybody always asks me, like, Michaela, how did you get through something so traumatizing, so deep like that? I don't fucking know, bro. Like, I would cry and I would be okay. And then I stopped crying at a point. I was talking to God and I was okay. Like, it was just... Because I was a good soul, I'm guessing, that that was not meant to be for me. Like, so God just picked me up out yeah. of it without me having to just embrace too and much. People can relate to you a little bit, but they can't even get more than 10% of that shit. Because that shit was a breakup, a theft, mm -hmm. all this shit in the public eye. Mm -hmm. Yo, shit. Motherfuckers, either they fucking with you or they laughing at shit. Yeah. Like, like, this shit is a game. Like, y'all, to be honest, bro, a lot of people wouldn't even be able to take two people on their lives talking shit about them. So, for her to go through all this shit and still maintain her confidence and be as strong as she is, bro, that's a testimony to itself, bro. Yeah. Because that agree. shit was crazy. I agree. I'm trying not to cry because it actually is, like, it's fucked up. Like, Bad. I, I, and then... Like, beyond all of that, like, what I've been through in my life before I even met her, like, that's really, like, you you know so much about a person and you would not expect them to, like, use no shit like that. Like, you, they know what you've been through. Like, Dre knows what I've been through in my past, like, as far as when I was fucking born in, in prison. Like, and then for somebody to already have been through so much and then to keep going, like, I don't know, y'all. It's, it's a... It's a question I really can't even fucking answer to you, to be honest. Like, all I can say is that, obviously, my purpose is bigger than any of them. Oh, most definitely. Like, you know what I mean? Like, wherever I'm going, it's going to be a beautiful place. And wherever I'm headed... It's better than where you came from. Exactly. So, I just... Real bad. That's just all I could say about anything. Like, I don't fucking know how any of that shit... I don't fucking know. Shit, I don't know. I should be in a crazy hospital, really. If you ask me. You are. I got you. <laughs> I, 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 I take care of that, the fuck. Man, hell nah, bro. That shit. I think that shit eats me up, bro. That shit okay. eat me up. Man, that shit make me go ten times harder when it come down to this, bro. Because best believe, bro, I wouldn't even sit here be coming back with no fucking ghost. Mm -hmm. I agree. But, like, that shit, that shit crazy, bro. Okay. So, without the sad shit, because I'm done being fucking sad. Um... We're going to go to the most recent problem. <laughs> you know, like, why, like, the reason why all this shit really got brought up. All, Bad. all this dumb shit brought back to the top of the ocean like, again. But, but but this is, this was their plan. Mm -hmm. They wanted But that's this. okay. So don't act like you didn't know that this was going to happen because this is what you wanted. I, I will talk every fucking time I don't give a fuck. Because fuck what you. you wanted. Because fuck you and the horse you rode in on. But anywho, the main reason, y'all. Y'all see my beautiful baby. This is my fucking gorgeous ass fucking wife, okay? Now, y'all know her as the light skin with dreads and the colored eyes. The long dreads. The real long, long dreads. dreads. You know what I'm saying? The long dreads at that. Like, when I'm talking about ankles, ankles, okay? But my baby decided that it was her time to cut my hair. To cut her beautiful hair off. You know what I'm saying? And anybody know anything about black people in here? Baby, mm -hmm. it's that not took a, a lot. <laughs> it's not a joke. That took a lot. That took a whole lot. So I finally reached the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna cut my hair. And anybody know that when you get your dreads cut off, you you keep them. Mm -hmm. Like that's just like a thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I cut my hair, y'all. Mind you, from the picture that I posted of me holding my dreads to when I actually showed me with my hair cut it was like five days yeah it was a long time because she she was trying to get her hair to where she wanted it to show everybody yeah because like, you know i had parts in my head for 12 years so yeah I so had she to, had to I like had to make sure to yeah like you know just the normal steps to shit that normal people take okay yeah so boom she cut her hair and waited let's just let's just call it a week maybe yeah 
after her actual haircut to show herself or to post any video talking about her hair actually being cut. Yeah. Okay. So I wake up one day, somebody sends me a screen recording of a live and it's of Nutella. Nutella. <laughs> um, of, of, oh, of course every video is up until we've not seen the other bitch. Oh yeah, we don't know what she looks like. We don't know what she looks like, if she, yeah. even, if she really even exists. Yeah. So, the bitch then took scissors to her hair. Mind you, mocking mm -hmm. a energy release. Like, this is like more of a godly path for me. Mm -hmm. So, this is crazy. Mocking it. And then, gonna hold the hair. And she's gonna tell her, no, put that shit down. Why are you even holding that shit? Mm -hmm. Right? So I say, mm -hmm. ladies, hoes fucking with me. Yeah. I say, damn, so like y'all, y'all watching everything I got going on. Why y'all fucking with me? Yeah. I say, okay, cool. So that was, that was number one. That's the, cool. y'all, another, here, cool. here you go, another weirdo card, cool. handed to you, you got it. Okay. So boom, after she does that, you know, they, they copy. Of course. Because they don't got no motion for real. They want to. They want to be something, like they want to be Jay-Z and Beyonce, so I don't know. Okay. okay, so boom, my baby's beautiful hair is gone. You know, she's just rocking the wave. She's doing her one to her biggest one. And she's like, you know, I need to switch it up. I'm ready for this new change. So my baby decides to dye her hair blonde. Yeah, not even blonde. Honey very, blonde. Very, no, very specifically. It's like a light ginger honey blonde, okay? Mm -hmm. Very light. Mm -hmm. Blanc, okay. <laughs> Mind you, then again, I tell you, I don't. I she waited my hair. She I waited waits. like two days before I actually even dropped a picture of the shit. Mm -hmm. she so, waits. Good. so let's say on day one, I dyed hair. Day three, I posted. I wake up the morning of day four. Mm -hmm. Guess who has the same hair color as me? Nutella. The only bitch that we can see on camera. Mm. Tell me, I'm tripping. Bad. Like, Tell me I'm tripping. Let me hear it. Mind you, boom, that happens. Okay. So, of course, y'all, we do social media shit. So, I mean, you know, I, I'm gonna, I drop a video on, I drop a TikTok. Oh, yeah, it was after this shit. You know, basically saying, when a bitch gets her puppet, to copy everything you do. Okay. And y'all know the sound. Hmm. The fun. Yes. But not funny. Ha ha. Funny weird. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. So y'all, mind you, people not even really understanding what's going on. Mm -hmm. They not seeing what's going on. Mm -hmm. So people are like, yo, what the fuck? But the people who need to see it, they saw it. Mm -hmm. I get a notification that on Nutella's TikTok, my video has been stitched. Mm -hmm. So they stitch the video, and then all I see is Laura's hand, of course, the phone, and video that she made you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's talking about, I'm 19 and I'll never find nobody like Laura. <laughs> normal okay now since we on this real quick bitch stop trying to make it seem like somebody wants, somebody you. wants you bro like nobody fucking wants you nobody knows what the fuck you look like nobody knows who the fuck you are in real life circumstances stop trying to do that it's embarrassing bro like for one like she said you would make me sit down and film shit like you would make me film when I when you would not film, bitch. You would be like, go film a video. We need to upload a video. We need to make this money. Go film this video. Talk about this in this video. Do this in this video. So mind you, okay? I'm making the video. Cool, whatever. At the end of the day, I felt that way about you at that time. We were in fucking high school when I met you, bitch. I was a child. I was. We were children. Why the fuck do you think that we're going to be like Cinderella and Prince Charming so fucking bad? I don't want you no more. I stopped liking you a long time ago. I, I stopped even being attracted to you when I was with you. Like, 
It, it's not that. And you need to stop making it seem like it's that. You're not that girl. You, like, probably don't even brush your teeth. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be really involved with you in that light, in that manner. Stop trying to bring up old shit. Like, again, like we just said earlier, she re- like, she re-brought up a video, like, of my past. Like, yes, bitch, the fuck I felt like that at that time. Bring up something right now. I, I felt like that at this at that fucking time. Keep but now look at me. I'm fucking happily married, living my happy-go-lucky life, and you're still bringing up shit from when I was 19. Like you said, I was 19. I'm about to be 22 years old. I'm not even the same person. You might have knew me then, bitch, but you do not know me now, and I promise you do not want to get to know me either. Because the person I am right now is not who you thought you knew. Like, you you lost that person a long time ago. I'm a new created bitch, and I will molly wop your ass to where you stand. And I just really wish you would stop, like, involving us. Because it's kind of nasty. And y'all should. Like, who the fuck involves their ex's partner? You don't even know me. You be, y'all be talking, like... Like, and you let and you let your bitch like there's no way like you're letting your bitches do shit that I do. Mm -hmm. It's giving you on me. It's giving she wants you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would too. Uh uh. I, I get it. I would me. I get but it. But I mean, so I'm good on that. I get it, but I love my wife. It's like, come on, bro. Like, to me, it's just like very fucking weird. Like you, it's like you're fangirling. You, you fangirling. I'm going to just call it that. Like, I genuinely think that you want to be like her. Her confidence is crazy. Her looks are crazy. She's able to do shit that you never would do. And let me put you on the spot real quick. Because, like, no, I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm not even going to be that rude-ass person. Yeah, no, you better than that. But We're going to stick to the fact, though. But there's stuff that she does that you wish that you could do or could have been. Or do maybe even how you are with me or how I love you. Like, maybe... That's the part. Like, she wishes that she could have been that. Type shit. Who knows? Like, honestly, we'll never know. She'll never tell us. She'll never answer. She won't never respond to this. Because she's going to say that she's higher and yeah. doing better and don't need that. And her lifestyle go crazy. You're miserable for my looks. From what I see, you're not happy at all. It just sucks on your end of the stick. But, yeah, like, she, she's she wants to be like her. And it shows, and it's obvious, and... Oh, hold on. Back to the, the, the little video, but when they stitch the video... Oh, 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 oh yes, When yes, they yes. stitch the video... Yes, yes, yes. She deleted it, like, six minutes later. Quick, y'all. You want to know why she deleted it? Because I smooth got on that hoe, and I responded. Yeah. And I added her, not her baby mama. Mm-hmm. And you make your video, like, bro, y'all being weird. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all being weird. Basically, y'all, we was basically saying, like, you're an imaginary person at this point. We don't know what you look like. We don't know who you are. Like, you just be talking from, you be letting, you be talking through another person. Man. You don't never even say what you be wanting to say. Like, so why are you even bringing shit up? And, yeah, we said what we wanted to say because at the end of the day, y'all are going to know that we are going to ask you every single time. It's not... If we throw slugs, y'all know it's about y'all because it's I about y'all. Because really and truly, that's the only way we can fight back. Yeah, like, we, like the fuck, like, we can't see y'all in person. Y'all will never drop no address. Y'all will, n like, you get what I'm saying? So, we be saying what we want to say because y'all be coming towards us and how else are we supposed to retaliate? We're going to make a video and when it does numbers, y'all do mad. Y'all get mad and y'all mention it and y'all go live and y'all try to flaunt this and do that and talk about this and that. And which, then get on live and say you're not talking about it and the whole time you're talking about it y'all make this make sense right here y'all we're not gonna sit here and talk about these people because these people don't even matter to us we don't, they don't have matter to, we don't have to talk about them y'all we got this y'all we we got this them they're lame it's, we don't gotta talk about sounds it sounds like you're talking about it you're literally so, talking about so it. every time you keep bringing me up i got the right to bring, bring you, you up. up straight like that bro the fuck? i don't want to i'm tired of this shit really and truly mm -hmm. and um, baby boy, I know you still on mama titty and everything, but that's not a good look, bro. Mm -hmm. Leave your mom out of that shit. Like, you got your mama on live in some 20-year-old drama. Which There's is, no fucking way. Which is ridiculous There's to no me way. because... There's no way. That's just another fake front that I done seen come about and come to light and shit. That shit's weird to me, too. Like, 
you you let your mother wear my clothes on live like maybe you should have told her change or maybe y'all forgot that that was mine Have but I, i'm peeping like it's just weird and the fact that like it's just still little shit to me that gets me like i had to start completely over everything in my house that i have right now i had to buy it over again y'all still have my couch y'all still have all of that shit probably still have my clothes like probably still there but like i had to start over if you ask Dre what clothes I had, I had slim so to no clothes. We both started over bad. So yeah. everything we got, we got together. We got together real fucking bad. Like slim to no clothes, slim to no shoes, like done kick my shoe game back up, done started over my life. Like it just don't make sense. Like on why y'all do little shit and flex this and flaunt that and talk about this, that, and the third. When, everything is a flex. When... It 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 is. If you got it like that, why you gotta flex it, bro? It's just shit weird. Like, and then I've seen people like on the internet before flex things that they have, but in a very positive way. Like they'll talk, they'll tell a story about like I came from this and now I live like this and I'm beyond blessed. But y'all be on there like talking crazy to people, and I feel like that's so like you peasants can never have this. I got a fucking flat screen TV. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Where so you gonna get the fuck TV I from? Fucking make. Like, what are you talking about right now? You don't even have sheets on your bed. And you're talking about you got this down the third. Y'all don't even... It's not a flex to not clean your own house. You're still... You're dirty. You, as a person, you're dirty. You hiring somebody to come clean your house is not a flex. It, it costs fucking $40. Like, it's not a flex for real. Like, stop thinking that you're just so big and so bad. You think you're fucking Obama or something. You're not... You're not like that. You're not cut like that. You're not from shit like that. You're not built like that. And you just really need to stop coming for two people that are not, first of all, are not scared to say anything to you. We'll say whatever the fuck we want to say, whenever the fuck we want to say, unless you come and beat our ass about it, then yeah. But please come beat my ass about it. Two happy people in a beautiful, loving relationship starting our lives and doing what we want to do and traveling and doing all of this stop bringing us up or stop mocking us and expecting us not to do stuff or stop you know throwing little subliminal subliminal shit and think we're not going to say anything like just leave us out of it and we'll leave you out of it there's no need for us to be connected in no way shape or form at all at all it's it's embarrassing Get over it. frankly it's very embarrassing for like me to have been it with somebody that spits on herself on live and like fucking don't brush her hair and don't change their clothes like that's embarrassing for me i gotta wash my ass every fucking day i gotta fucking change my clothes even if i'm sitting in the house all day i change my clothes to go back to sleep like i gotta take a shower i gotta be clean my house isn't dirty and to be involved in something like that it's just kind of embarrassing as fuck and i'm around people that i don't want to even see that and no, for real. tie two and two together so just leave it where it's at like you leave us be and we'll leave you be because we don't be fucking with you y'all be fucking with us and as you just heard all the shit that i said y'all it's literally like from the beginning to now on little shit on why we say the shit that we say or we do the shit that we do y'all have probably seen us go live probably twice talking about this shit and this is after and this is only our second video talking about the shit that because of what they no, already that. did not we bad. don't bring them up first. We don't say nothing first. And in the past, when I have made videos, I would always just say, I would, it would be a QA or something. And I'd be like, y'all, I don't even, I don't even ask the question. I'd be like, y'all, y'all know who y'all are. Please leave me out of that shit. Because people would ask. They would be like, how do you feel about Nutella tattoos? How do you feel about this? Or are you mad about this? Y'all just be like, leave that shit alone. Sometimes in the, like, a long time ago, it would be literally my questions would not even be regular questions. It would just be about Weird them. Shit. So I would be like, y'all, please stop asking me about this shit. I don't know nothing about that. Like, and then I would keep it pushing. I never would have mentioned his whole name. I never would like say nothing like directly to anybody. Just like anybody on TikTok or something, people are gonna throw slugs. People are gonna like do a little shit, but it's not just intended to like get that person's attention. It's just because it's relatable shit. Like if I say, if I say dance because your ex was ugly, I'm a dance. Like you get what I'm saying. Like it's just that's just what it is. That's like that's what, your only ex or something. And then that's what I'm and saying. Then you hop your ass in the shoes because it fits. Because it fits. Or you or you feel like 
it fits. Mm -hmm. And that's really where a lot of the bullshit starts. comes from. Like, don't nobody even really be just necessarily talking about them. Like, we really don't even talk about them. That's the crazy part. I don't even throw slugs like that because of the simple fact that I know it's going to get backdoored. Like, if I was really that petty or if I really wanted to be involved with y'all so bad, I would do that. I would have, just like you offered me to do some more fake videos, I, I could have did that. I could, you know, you get what I'm saying? But like, don't want no ties to I don't want no ties to you. I don't want nothing to do with you. Like, me and my wife are perfectly fine where we're at. We're happy. We don't want nothing to do with you. We don't need nothing from you. So stop thinking that shit. Oh, no. Rip. Yeah, you don't have nothing we give want. Give us your old dirty hand me downs. Like, we don't want nothing you want. Stop. Nobody that wants you that give shit. Us, nobody, that you give us. Nobody. Nobody wants that shit. We nobody. Damn sure don't want it. Nobody. Like, perfectly fine over here. We're doing perfectly fine. We live in a beautiful, wonderful house. We have our beautiful um, son, Princey, and we're just growing as two individuals living our life and starting our family. Hey, more than anything, what's crazy too, I don't know why this just probably on my head. Any, and every time she mentions something to do with us, or let me say this, when she's mentioned me, it's always very like degrading. Yeah. I yeah. guess because she needs to make herself feel, feel better. Mm -hmm. Um. Little boy, your boyfriend. How can you say anything when Big's your daddy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's your your daddy, right? Your son calls you daddy. Mm -hmm. So, but you can try to sit up here and do anything in any degrading manner. I'm not gonna lie. I'm weird. not gonna lie. They hide behind their house doors because they know the second that they walk out and be in the real world, it's either gonna be us being their ass or somebody else. Because the way that you treat people, the way that you talk to people, it's disrespectful. Like, yes, she's a stud. And she may be a masculine stud and giving real daddy um, energy and you're mad about it. Because the, she's, she looks normal. And you just be trying to talk like she just looks like some fucking, um, what, are you, what are those things called? Um, a lumberjack motherfucker or something like that. You be trying to act like she ugly or like some. I don't get it. But why are you judging me? It's Anyways. jealousy, baby. It's Anyways. either. I, I ain't gonna lie. The shit that I say after she come fuck with me mm -hmm. be judging her character like a motherfucker. What's this? But, I um, be judging her character like a motherfucker. She yeah. be judging me because. It's either. That's what like, I'm saying. It's either she wants you or it's the simple fact of like she's jealous really that I make found her, you. I really gotta make herself feel Yeah, like. Thanks. And it's just crazy because if you wanna cut your hair and you wanna be um just like her, go do that on your own. Make yourself happy, but stop bringing my baby up into this because if she got a hold of you, I promise to God you would not be happy about it. Like, you would walk away miserable as she the wouldn't fuck. Walk away. Like, that, that's crazy. Like, I really. I really think the bullying needs to go because you're not really hurting nobody's feelings. Like, you're just making it like more like when somebody puts their hands on you, you're not gonna like. Yeah, like but don't throw no stones over It's no not gonna be safe. Hide, bro. It's not gonna be safe. Like if you would just leave the shit alone, nobody would be worried about getting their hands on you and just fucking your shit up. But you're always talking about stuff or being just disrespectful. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to fucking do. Nobody can stop you. Nobody, like, you know. But why? Just stop being disrespectful. Like, it's disgusting. It's not even, it's not cute, bro. Like, nothing about that shit is cute. You talking about her, does what? To you. Like, what does it do for you? Like, I, don't know. It, I hope it gets your rocks off. Because. You got to. At this point, it's just kind of dumb to. if it's not. Like. But that's pretty much all I have to say yeah. on the real. Like, I'm really just kind of like yeah. telling y'all, like, we don't really give a fuck about them over here. But if we need to, just like this, we will talk about it and we will air that shit out and we'll still stand. Because I be feeling feel like it'd be new people that either come from them or come find us and they'd be like, well, what the fuck is going on? And they don't even know half. half. So, like, to save myself the time from having to repeat the same shit on live, this is right here just gonna make it way easier. Just simply watch the video. Yeah. Watch the video. And it's just like, okay. Now, we'll see how things change after this. We'll because y'all will see as well. Because now, y'all are woke. Y'all know. Y'all are woke. So, but honestly, y'all, like, 
it's just like we don't be wanting to be involved with them we're so over it we're so done talking about it like we just be tired of hearing it and people in our comments saying certain shit so we say so but that's pretty much all i have to say um yeah the bitch did me so wrong did me so dirty and i'm retaliating now and now if that's a problem then hit me up about it you want to drop an addy it's whatever you want to do but until then like we just gonna live our life we're gonna do what we've been doing um we hope that y'all still tune in for our videos and subscribe to our post notification bell i'm on the road to 100k y'all so let's get there um let's and do yeah, it. that's pretty much it you got anything else you want to say baby Shit. Um, really just to the supporters. The real supporters. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, y'all with us, y'all get it. Y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, I appreciate y'all so much. Cause y'all go hard for us and we don't even have to. Mm -hmm. Because y'all know the real. Yeah. And y'all know that anytime y'all see us and it's not in this lighting, y'all love us. It's good, it's good vibes, it's good energy, it's it's something to wanna aspire to be. Mm -hmm. So, I just want to say appreciate all the supporters out there, y'all. And I know y'all tired of hearing this shit, man. Because it's... We brought some new things to light. But, like, it's tiring talking about this. Like, we just want to have fun with this. Mm -hmm. And continue doing what we're doing. And growing together and having fun. And, you know, enjoying life right now before we get to that certain point. Mm -hmm. Where we got to do other shit. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. We living, we traveling, we doing our biggest one, and we just letting God do what he do with us. And until, you know, our next biggest day, we'll see y'all next time. I love you. I love you too, baby. Bye, guys. Bye, um, If y'all are the real supporters, subscribe and join the family. And drop a heart down below. Yeah. I love you guys. Bye.